Hi hey guys. So me and Patrick took this extreme hiking slash camping trip this past weekend. Um, we went to Mount Magazine and he had picked out a trail. Um, and the trail was way longer than we anticipated. So we walked a couple hours down the mountain, uh, looked at the map, realized we still had three hours to get to the destination. So we made the choice to turn around. And we actually stayed in a type of uh, valley camp area. Um, and we set up camp there and we just rested anticipating the hike up. We knew it was gonna take us about an hour to hike up this mountain, um, but we were wore out at this point. When it finally came time for us to pack up and leave, um, that was one of the hardest hiking trips I've been on so far. Um, my body is not equipped for it and I literally thought I was going to die going up in the dark in this, on this mountain. So we hiked up this mountain in the dark, fog settling in, you couldn't see very far in front of you, uphill, uphill. My legs got to a point where they weren't connecting like my brain and my legs weren't connecting and i literally thought i wasn't going to make it guys i had to pray myself up this hill i had to pray myself up this hill i didn't think i was going to make it we finally get to the top finally get up to the road that's going to take us to the vehicle and i am just praising the lord that he helped me up this mountain he helped me up the side of this mountain while we were climbing there was a part of me that wished we would have just stayed stayed in that valley where it was like comfortable and peaceful and just stayed there and rested and relax but we had to make the choice to climb back up the mountain no matter how hard and how painful it was we had to do it so you guys have probably heard the song the god on the mountain is still god in the valley well, I'm going to flip this around today, and I want you guys to think of the valley as like your comfort place. An easy place, a resting place, a smooth place, because you know that once you start up that mountain, you're going to encounter some pain. You're going to encounter some discomfort. It's not going to be pleasant. But you know what? The Lord walked with me up the mountain. He helped me get up that mountain every step that I took I would have to pray I would have to pray I would have to pray Lord help my legs Lord give me strength Lord help me mentally help me physically help me emotionally it was tough guys it was tough but he was with me and he helped me so if you're in a valley if you're in a comfortable place but you know you can't stay there you know that you need to walk up the mountain He's going to help you. He's going to guide you. He's going to lead you. Maybe you know that you need to drop that addiction. Maybe you know that you need to find a place and spend more time with the Lord, that you need to seek Him in the Word. Maybe you know that you need to get up and, you know, attend church. Um, maybe you know of a ministry that you need to be in, but you're just in a comfortable place and you just don't want to right now. He will help you. Every step you take, pray, pray through. He's gonna walk with you, he's gonna help you. Every step you take is gonna get better, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. You can do this, you can do this. So I'm gonna leave with you today, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.